In this video, I'm going to be testing one of two prototype Atherton AM170Ms. Let's go. I'll leave links to the Atherton Bikes website and W Bike Park in the description below. Go check them out. How spectacular is this thing? Awesome is an understatement. Full disclosure, this is a personal demo that I've set up through the Atherton website. These are my views and my personal views of the bike and the way it makes me feel as a rider. And yes, you've guessed it. This is a contender for my next bike. So check out the other uh, reviews that I've done up in the corner of the screen now. You know there's an easier way up. <laughs> yeah, bit of lovey-dovey. Right. See at the bottom. Right, okie dokie, so. Lovey dovey on one of two Atherton AM 170s. Let's see what it's really like. Now I've already uh, I've already been down Super Swoop on this for the first run um, and utterly blown away with this thing. It's exceptional in every single possible way. It's out, it, it, it's exceeded my expectations in so many ways. Flipping heck, and it's so, so quick. Whoa, flipping heck. I have to uh, just ease off because it is mind-blowingly fast. Loves getting into the air. Oh. Now, I'm looking at this bike for my next bike. It's way beyond my skill capability in every way. However, I, uh, I aim to improve my skill and the tool of choice I think I've narrowed down to this exceptional AM170M so AM addi additive manufacture 170mm mini downhill bike 
with a mullet setup. So 29 front, 27 and a half rear. And oh my goodness gracious me. Now obviously you can expect an Atherton bike to be quite happy in the air, of which it most certainly is. I've got this as a, a demo bike today. The guy to speak to is Joe, who has been unbelievably helpful. Both Dan and Rachel have uh, I've had a chat with about the bike and what they've got to say about the bike is nothing but praise I mean obviously they are biased but the pedigree that this thing has got from the years of racing experience that the Athertons have got and the R&D that they've actually put into this machine see if I can get a bit of a view for you. And it's got the Hayes Dominion brakes on it and uh, wow they're a dependable brake. Super super powerful amazing modulation um, but they don't overpower you when you slam them on. Oh back into the downs. Enjoy. beautiful he's so refined one thing I've found with this right from the word go is I've instantly instantly bonded with the bike it doesn't feel like a brand new bike that I've never ridden before I feel like I've I can feel so comfortable, so at one with it, so yeah, just like I've known it for a long time. Right into the little slippery section. Look at the luckily these tyres are amazing. Let's take it steady here. Got that little bit of a bank. That's why it gets a little dicey. It's never dry this area. Munches up those braking bumps with a huge level of sophistication. And it's not just about the fox. I mean, that jump is so graceful. say before the the chuckability with that super low dropper post and the getting the saddle out of the way is uh, absolutely amazing okay so what can I say utter utter joy oh by the way did I mention it's fast high speed stability and in air stability of this refined monster of a bike is so inspiring. It urges you to improve without even realising you're improving. And this is just the first day I've ridden this bike. Cannot wait to ride more.
Blown away, mate. See what this thing climbs like, because that's one of the biggest things for me, is how it climbs. I know it descends incredibly well, but it's the climb. Now, so far, instantly it feels pretty wonderful. It's very, very nice in the reach. This is the size that I put into the computer calculator thing on the website with my measurements. This is the one it came out at, which roughly translates, I guess, to about a large. Perfect reach. And uh, don't feel like the front end's lifting at all compared to the evil where I find that climbing steep stuff like this I found it lifting this is proper planted it's just my fitness that it's, uh, needs uh, improving so I've got to say that is a resounding massive yes Whew. excellent Thank you, 170. Well, unfortunately, this is where I need to take the bike back to uh, Joe. Um, my demo of this absolute legendary uh, machine is now coming to a close. Um, it's... Uh, yeah, it's, it's exceeded every single one of my expectations. 100%, um, this is the one, without a shadow of doubt. So, the AM170M, um, 27 and a half, 29, uh, mullet set up with 170 front and rear, uh, so additive manufacture, 170 mil, bike park munching, mountain munching, piece of art, really is going to be the next bike. So at this point I'm going to say thank you to the Athertons, thank you to Joe for all your help, your setup, your guidance and all the communications that you've given.